Hello, Gemini. This is Steph at Finding You Tarot, and this is your uh, early October um, 2023 reading. Um, these are general readings, so can't possibly resonate for everyone. So only take what does resonate and leave the rest for someone else. Um, I do read for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Gemini. Um, so if you do have uh, other placements that you would like to check out, um, those will be going up in the next day or so. And um, and if you would like a personal reading with me, all the details are in the description box below. Without further ado, let's have a look at what October has for you. What does October have for Gemini? October got right okay so we're starting with the seven of swords which it's it's a the seven of swords is a bit of a yikes card um but it does it can it it's not always a negative card so let's see what comes out around it so what can Gemini see okay Three of Cups. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to talk, but I'm not liking the way this is going, Gemini. Let's see. And what can't Gemini see? Mm. Mm. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. I think I just got flashed the five of pentacles there, so we'll see if that comes out as well. So what are we going out of? What are we going out of for Gemini? Mm, right, the six of six of wands into mm, see what are you going into, Gemini? Five of Cups, yeah, yeah, okay. And what's the advice, Spirit? What's the advice for Gemini? What's the advice for Gemini? Okay, I'm going to take another card. I haven't been, but I just want to clarify this. So that was the Eight of Wands that came out. No major arcana here yet. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Right, Gemini, I think this is quite specific um, for somebody here. Um, I mean, having right at the start of the reading said that the, the, the Seven of Swords isn't wholly a bad card, I feel like with the, the way that the cards have come out, it feels very much that, um, that, that this is a situation, um, and I'm going to read it as a um as as a as a romantic situation but i it, it it could apply within the family dynamic it could apply within the um within the work sphere as well but as i say i'm i'm going to read it as 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 a, as a romantic relationship um but you've been you've been badly let down here i always think you know and and you know i don't always read the 3 of cups as a um as a third party card, but I, I I feel quite strongly here that 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 there's been some there's, there's been some major deceit going on from one party here. Um, we've got you know the seven of, the seven of swords. It's you know a lot of um, a lot of uh, readers on here say the liar, cheater, stealer card. It can it can also be a card of strategy. Um, but it's it's often a card of somebody who is trying to get away with something, um, and you know, and and I feel along with this um, with this three of of uh, cups here, and I don't know if you can see we have the rather um, sly looking lady here on this side. Um, yes, she's toasting with the others, um, but she's she's withholding a bunch of grapes behind her back. Um, so, you know, so she's she's not quite on the same page as everybody else in, in this grouping. And so I feel as though, you know, there's a that, that there's an energy here around a, a 
third party situation, which I think you you were put into without your knowledge. Um, and I think it's been very draining for you. I think it's been very draining for you because at the you know at the bottom of the reading, I feel like you're 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 in that kind of soldiering on energy, and you're trying not to think about this. But I, but actually, I think it needs to be thought about um, because you know the the wounded warrior. He's he's kind of quite bashed up. You know, he's thinking, do I carry on? Do I keep, you know, trying to. Uh, trying to keep going with all of this but you know but it's it's and I think that's because you had such high hopes for it you know what you're going out of the six of of wands I think you really thought this relationship was was going to deliver everything that you wanted Um, and so there's been a, a really kind of crushing disappointment uh around it for you um because because you've actually suddenly found out that this this person, um, you know, whoever this Seven of Swords character is for you, um, has just let you down, was not who they said they were. You know, they were wearing a mask. Um, and that can be really difficult because and, and, and not just because someone has betrayed us, not not just because someone has not honoured us for who we are but also because we lose trust in ourselves and our capability to make a, make good decisions for ourselves and I feel that there's quite a strong energy here around that that you're you're sort of you, you know you're kind of looking at, at this you can't look at the two of of cups here because you're looking at, at the three of cups which is is here and saying, but how did I get it so wrong? How did I get it so wrong? So there's a, a, almost a sort of self-sabotaging, self-punishment energy here that you're not allowing yourself to move on because you're 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 just you you can't believe that you read this situation, this person so wrong. Um and actually, you know, what what I think Spirit's message is here for you um is is let that let it go you you have to let this go and also let go of all of the sort of nostalgia around it you know move forward take steps forward and I know, I know that's like the easiest thing I, I could I always when a message like this comes out I always want to sort of scream at spirit and say yeah 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 okay cuz like you know cuz we don't know that but, but it it's really it, and I do know how hard it is to move on from a situation where you've been betrayed, where you've been disappointed, where your hopes and dreams have been shattered. This is, you know, it's it's hard stuff to move on from. But actually, I think what's Spirit's message here, you know, the, the Six of Cups is a card of nostalgia. And, and, you know, and and actually, I think what they're wanting to say here is do not romanticise this. Do not... Do, do not create a story around this situation of of you know of what it wasn't you know I think looking at this we've got the nine of nine of wands on the bottom we've we've got the you know we've got the liar cheater stealer at the center we've got who's who's clearly built your hopes up they've built your hopes up you know, they've spun you a tale. You've got the card of disappointment here and the river of tears. You know, so so what Spirit is saying is do not, you know, do not spin a story around this, that somehow this was the one for you and sit within that energy. They want you to move on from this because there is better out there for you. Um, because the two of cups is here, but you're just, but you're not looking at it. You can't see it. You can't see it because you're still looking at that other situation and saying, how could I let myself be taken in by it? And, you know, and I wonder if you're asking yourself, Gemini, can I trust myself to make a make clever choices in the future? Well, yeah, because we learn. We learn, but part of learning is letting go and also being really, really honest about what something was and what something wasn't. And it feels here as though there's a little bit of um, of, of holding on to the good stuff and not recognising the bad stuff for what it truly was. Um, you know, there is get just chemically, when we are very attracted to somebody, a part of our brain actually does switch off. 
you know it's 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 what because the brain wants us to repro- the the body the body and our sort of biological clock wants us to reproduce so so we we don't see the bad stuff and actually that's done on purpose because then we can keep the species going <laughs> i mean it is it, it, it and i i I didn't re- I didn't know that until about a year ago when I actually listened to a podcast about it with um, an expert in this sort of stuff. Um, so, you know, it's really kind of, yeah, you might have ignored the red flags, but, you know, there is equally, there is this sort of chemical reaction that takes place within us that's the, that stops us from um, seeing things for the, for as they truly are when we're very attracted to somebody. It's why so often um, our friends are saying, what what do they see in them? You know, they're awful. And we go, oh, but they're wonderful. You know, it's because then they're, they're not in love with them. They're not having a chemical reaction with them. <laughs> so their, their brain isn't switching off to that person's shortcomings. So I think spirit's message here in my in my long winded way, Gemini, is is to take the lessons of this, see this relationship for what it truly, truly was. Do not romanticize it and accept that you can move on, you can have learned your lessons, and perhaps part of you know of, of of learning the lesson is going a little bit more slowly next time, taking your time, not being you know sort of rushed into into something. These Seven of Swords characters can very often come in and rush us into things um, because they're deceivers. You know they want us, they want to get us into situations where you know that aren't good for us because they're good for them so you know so so next time slow it down take your time and do not allow this to you know to kind of sit in your energy and prevent you from from what is there you know the two the two cups is there it will be available to you when you're prepared to look for it and when you're prepared to actually turn around and look at it so Gemini, I hope that makes sense. Um, if you did enjoy this reading, please do like, share and subscribe. And um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.